years in prison or just months. Why are the consequences for two men so different if they both took lives while driving drunk? Well, our Lindsay Shively joins us now live from the newsroom. And Lindsay, how can such different punishments fit the same crime? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. And Jody, on an awful irony in this situation, the people killed by two different drunk drivers are family. We spoke to one woman who heard straight from prosecutors it boiled down to evidence or lack of it. Though years apart, these two men both pleaded guilty in a Jackson County courtroom and both took lives while driving drunk. Luis Solano Barrera killed this mother and daughter, earning him 15 years in prison, leaving a father and husband to mourn. We lost somebody that would have been around for a long time to somebody. Then, unbelievably, that father and husband was killed by Ronald O'Kelly two years later. But O'Kelly now only faces 120 days in jail for the death of Buddy Bronson. He pleaded guilty. Thursday. With him admitting it, 120 days just doesn't seem right. Devastating to the family. 120 days is like kicking you in the teeth. And infuriating to yeah, Avis Lowe. The Mothers Against Drunk Driving volunteer has worked with the Bronson family since their first tragedy. She wants the laws changed. That 120 days needs to go. She sat in closed meetings with the family and prosecutors and understands why prosecutors cut a deal. They didn't think that they would be able to take it to trial. And prove without a doubt. If the prosecutor has a good, strong, solid case, then they're very unlikely to take a 120 day deal. Attorney Chris Kopecki represents several clients facing drunk driving charges, often complicated if they flee the scene. Usually the punishment can be more severe. But in O'Kelly's case, he left the scene. So that made it hard too. Luis Solano Barrera did not. Because they could prove that he was in that car. Police also had several 911 calls before the crash telling them his car was driving the wrong way. They got his blood alcohol. They they got all their evidence. Now what's left of the family? I am very disappointed and a little disgusted to be honest. We'll try to move on. A judge will decide in June if 120 days or probation is what Kelly would serve. He will be sentenced again in June. Now, Kopecki does insist fleeing the scene is not any kind of strategy by any means. 99% of the time, it increases the punishment for his clients. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.